here's a really simple way of uh, testing the waterproofness of your watch. All you need is a jam jar, uh, an old Schrader tyre valve, you can get one uh, for nothing from a, from a tyre repair uh, or replacement centre. Uh, you need a container of water and you either need a bicycle pump or a compressor with a, a, a tyre pump uh, adapter on it. Uh, the glass jar shouldn't be inflated to, to a lot of pressure because the metal lid will deform and uh, let the pressure out. All I did was drill a 13mm hole in the middle, put some grease around the hole after I'd uh, deburred it, pulled the Schrader valve through and that sealed it on the lid. So the first thing I do is to put the watch into the glass, put the lid on, make sure it's tight, then I take my uh, pump, pressurise it, I think I've got no more than about 10 psi in there, it's quite low, you can see the top of the jam jar is domed so there's pressure in there. What this is doing is this is forcing uh, air inside the uh, watch. Uh, so any holes will uh, take the air in, increasing the pressure inside the watch. Uh, you only need to leave this for a minute or two and uh, depending on the size of the leak uh, the, air will pr uh, the pressure will equalise uh, uh, quite quickly. Once you've left it for a short while you just release the lid, remove the watch fairly quickly, put it into the water and see if you can see a stream of bubbles. In my case I can see there's a, a stream of small bubbles coming away from one of the pushers so I know that that is where my leak is. I can now uh, inspect the, the, the o-ring, the gasket, uh, obtain a replacement, grease it, reassemble it, repeat the process to see whether I'm watertight. Thanks very much for watching.